गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे एस यू सी आई हैव आई एम हैविंग अ फ्लावर दैट इज बेसिकली अ कॉमन फ्लावर विच इज नोन एज ए बिस्कस साइंटिफिक नेम रोजा साइनस इज एंड कॉमन नेम इज योर गुलर सो टूडे आई एम मेकिंग डिस एक्शन अबाउट दिस फ्लावर सो यू कैन सी ओवर हियर हाउ आई कैन मेक डिस एक्शन ऑफ दिस फ्लावर इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो फॉर दिस वट यू हैव टू टेक ब्लेड and your needle actually i have taken common needle here but you will take laboratory needle and sharp blade for this practical so once you wash the practical try to do at yourself because this is very simple practical to understand about the various part of your flower you because i am taking a hibiscus flower here because it can show me clear about anther pollen grains uh, your pest petals sepals everything so that's why i'm using here hibiscus flower so please try to do with yourself and send your this sexual reproduction so topic which are include in this chapters are basically your first topic is flower then pre fertilization second topic then third topic is your double fertilization fourth topic is your post fertilization which contain structure and event and fifth your topic is apomixis and polygram polyambiony here you can see that this is your flower this is a hibiscus flower as i have shown many time in class detection of this flower so this part you can see this part is known as stalk what is this this is your stalk if you can see here that this part is known as stalk stalk just holds that flower this flower it holds the flower and this color part you can see this is known as sepals what these are known as sepals actually they just attract insects for pollination here i the first step i am using here i am just cutting it here i am making a cut here and i am just opening this sepal like this so this is your sepals you can see over here this is known as your petals you can see here what is this these are petals it consists of three or four or five whorls you can see over here and this is your anther this is generally female reproductive part basically known as your uh, uh, carpel and this is your female reproductive part actually it contain ovum which i will show you here i will just take a needle here to make a separate cut this is your pollen grains which generally attracts insect for pollination you can see over here you can see over here actually for your detail viewing i have make differently i have cut the anther stigma style ovary differently so this is your simply your anther you can see here this is your anther i can show here this part basically this is your anther which is known as stigma style and you can see over here this is your ovary this part is known as ovary you can see here this is your ovary this part is basically known as female reproductive system what stigma style and your ovary what about male reproductive system male reproductive system generally these are petals and your pollen grains actually male reproductive system consists of pollen grains which helps in your pollination understood this is your pollen grains which helps in your reproduction or forming male gametes this is your ovary that is basically known as female gamete if you cut it transversely 
then you will see here a small round structures that are known as ovules that small round structures you can see over here that are ovules if you can see here that are ovules actually you have done this experiment many time in your class and I, I am repeating again this so this is the basic chapter basic introduction about flower after that you will revise you will learn about uh, how the flower helps in reproduction or how flower get maturity so wow uh, you have to do this you have to paste these in your notebook like this separately and name them this is your sample this is your stalk ovary you can you have to repeat this dissection and paste in your biology notebook thank you